So, uh, I got really bored tonight. Had nothing else to do. Let's read some Caillou Creepypasta. You're getting to be a big boy! I was playing basketball with my friends in school when, all of a sudden, my friends told me to watch out as I almost stepped on a VHS tape. My friend picks up the VHS tape and we walk into the locker room. We then turn on the TV there and put in the VHS tape into the player. When we were watching, the Caillou theme song plays, but the every clip was in reverse. And at the footage where Caillou is throwing a tantrum, the whole screen becomes red and zombies attack Caillou. <laughs> and from there, the rest of the scenes were scary. Alright. After the terrifying theme song version, the episode begins with Caillou playing in his sandbox. Rosie comes in and wrecks his sandcastles. Caillou gets mad that he throws sand in Rosie's eyes, making her cry. <laughs> okay. Uh, Caillou's mother comes out and scolds Caillou, and as his punishment, she takes away his toy dinosaur, Rexy. Caillou's mommy says, You can have Rexy back when you promise you will share the sandbox. Later in the kitchen, Caillou says he's sorry to Rosie for throwing sand in her eyes and promises to share the sandbox. So finally, Mommy decides to give back Rexy to Caillou. But there was only one problem. Rexy was lost. Caillou and his mother look everywhere, but they can't find him. Caillou walks out to the backyard, thinking Rexy is gone for good. But then, the ground shakes. Rexy is revealed to be a giant live dinosaur. Okay. <laughs> Caillou screams and runs back into the house. Rexy then breaks into the house and eats Caillou's mother and his sister Rosie, killing them. Blood is seen dripping out of- oh, there it is. Blood is seen dripping out of Rexy. Rexy then runs away and eats and destroys the whole entire neighborhood, like Hungry Mungry. Remember that book? Caillou then sees that the whole neighborhood is now a dinosaur land. Oh, okay. The neighborhood is now full of dinosaurs. There are pteranodons flying all over the place, a family of Brachiosaurus stomping on everything, and a Velociraptor eating Mr. Hinkle. Mr. Hinkle. <laughs> that sounds like... That, that sounds like the name of a creepy neighbor. God. Caillou is worried. Rexy is then seen attempting to eat a Stegosaurus, but he can't bite through. King Kong then appears out of no <sighs> King Kong then appears out of nowhere and kills Rexy and goes after all the dinosaurs. Caillou declares that he doesn't like Rexy anymore <laughs> to King Kong. Caillou is then picked up by King Kong, and he rides him and he, as he kills the dinosaurs. <laughs> the episode ends in the credits roll as Walk the Dinosaur plays. <laughs> we all clapped after the tape ended. Our coach saw us watching and wondered what we were watching. I said, nothing, just dinosaur train. <laughs> And at the end, there's just a picture of King Kong, and, uh... This was on the Lost Episode Creepypastas wiki. Yeah. Alright. You're getting to be a big boy! <laughs> I use murder to death. <laughs> that is quite the name. I was reading a news article on the computer. And then I saw a news saying Caillou has been cancelled due to a scary violent episode. I then scrolled down and saw a video below. When I clicked play, here's what happened. It begins with the normal Caillou theme song. But at the last part, when Caillou says, That's me! Right after, blood appears all over him. <sighs> there it is. Right off the bat. <laughs> 
I did not like what I was seeing. Yeah, no, sh you think? <laughs> the episode begins with Caillou feeling a little sick, and he then finds out that he caught the flu from Rosie the other day. He gets out of his bed and coughs uncontrollably. He asks his daddy for some orange juice soup and stuff to make himself feel better, but his daddy says that he has cancer! Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, mommy immediately comes on screen. Oh no. Uh, oh no, don't do that. And agrees with daddy. Caillou asks why, but they don't know. Caillou thought they were just lying, so that he shoots them with a gun. <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on, let me bring... <laughs> Caillou thought they were just lying, <laughs> that he shoots them with a gun. Then Rosie afterwards, because he still thinks he caught her flu virus. Caillou then walks upstairs to his bedroom, where he becomes hot and can't breathe anymore. His skin changes, he feels fatigue, he bleeds, that at no time at all, he collapses to his death. <laughs> Who doesn't get cancer immediately, eats Caillou's body, what, and his parents and Rosie. The episode ends there and the credits roll with a depiction of devil and hell in the background. Then several scary dead bodies are shown burning in the fires. The usual instrumental Caillou theme song is replaced with the Sam Smith song Unholy. Ah yes. Use a copyrighted song in your creepypasta in an attempt to make it scary. Definitely haven't seen that get done before. I then prayed to God. <laughs> Regreeting for watching something scary and unholy, and I closed the website and turned off my computer. I will always listen to things that are positive to get that out of my head. For good. I'm so scared. You're getting to be a big boy! So, uh, this one is in the historical archive for some reason. Let's... Let's give it a read. Does anybody remember the television show on PBS, Caillou? It's a show about a little kid who goes to all these places and deals with real-life situations, blah blah blah. You don't have to explain what the show is in every single Lost episode, Pasta. There was a unaired episode that was so fucked up I had to tell someone. You might be wondering, how do I know of this unaired episode? Well, I used to work at PBS Studio. I was an intern at PBS! <laughs> there was a man who was a lead animator for a Caillou special, which was supposed to revive the struggling franchise in 2008. His name was Daniel. He would work day after day in an isolated room, designing a special that would blow our minds, as he said. He indeed blew our minds, but not in an amazed way, in a sick, twisted way. One day, he rounded up the cast and the crew of the show to watch his final product. He gave us two DVDs and then left for unknown reasons. We put the first DVD in to see our guaranteed masterpiece of an episode. If only we knew what would, would befall. <laughs> That's two woods. The first DVD started. It had the normal theme song for Caillou, and it brought back memories of past episodes for me. A title card appeared, and it said Family Secrets. The episode began with Caillou in a hospital, and his father was sitting beside him in a rocking chair. Our first look at Caillou was horrifying. He was on life support, and he looked pale, somewhat in a ghost-like form. He had a bandage on the right side of his face. He was doing a mix of coughing and crying. He then asked his father a question. Daddy, why would she do that to us? 
his father answered. I don't know, son, I just... The tape kept looping. I... 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 I didn't do it! I didn't do it! I did <laughs> Remember Polar Express? It Then it went to a shot of their house in a flashback, I presumed. Caillou's mom was in the kitchen cooking something when her husband walked in with a depressed and somewhat scary look. He had dark rings around his eyes and he had no eyebrows. <laughs> he was sobbing. The results came back from the hospital. Caillou has brain cancer. Oh my god. Here we go again. <sighs> His sobbing increased, but somehow his mother seemed unfazed. Was she in shock? She just walked out of the room and began dusting around the house. She noticed her husband's wallet on the table in the living room. Inside of it, she saw a... F <laughs> Inside of it, she saw a used condom that had semen drizzling from it. Okay. It prompted the <laughs> It prompted the man next to me to say, What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god, no way. Inside the wallet there was a phone number that belonged to Miss Martin. Caillou's preschool to Oh he cheating! He cheating! <laughs> Caillou's mom confronted her husband and slapped him across the face with the condom. He then picked it up to throw at her, but it missed and stuck to the wall. <laughs> this is when the confrontation started. What the fuck is this? Caillou's mom said. I don't know, said his father. Yes you do, you man whore! <laughs> It's not like I get any from you anymore, since you had those fucking kids. I told you to abort them. Hell, I would have shoved a vacuum cleaner into your pussy to get them out of there. But no! You wouldn't let me, you stupid man. I, I, I need a drink. I need Caillou's mother began to sob. She put her hands over her eyes. Meanwhile, Caillou's dad went over to the crock pot that she had on the stove, and he slammed it on the ground and their cat Gilbert fell out? So much drama. The argument continued. What the hell is this, you crazy slut? Caillou's father said. Oh, I'm the slut? You're the run sleeping with our son's teacher. His mother said. Excuse me if I think he has ADHD or some shit like that. He would never pass normally, so I became the teacher and taught Miss Martin reading, writing, and sucking my dick. <laughs> you're a monster! Yeah, you're a cunt. <laughs> now live with it. Caillou's father ended the argument with that. <sighs> we were all in shock by what we just heard. One of the other men began to look for Daniel. Caillou's mom lifted her hands from her face, and her eyes were blood red. She took a knife from the kitchen and stormed past her husband and ran out the door. Down from the stairs came Caillou and Rosie. They said, Daddy, why were you and Mommy yelling? He responded by saying, Because your mother has lost her mind. <laughs> the next scene was Caillou's mother busting open the door of the preschool. Miss Martin saw her red eyes and she said, Oh shit! <laughs> Caillou's mom saw the kids around her. She ordered them to line up against the wall, Miss Martin included. The first one to go was Leo. What? He was stabbed in the back and had his spine ripped. His guts fell from his back into a pile with steam lines above it. What did, what did he do? She just found out her husband cheated on her, and she takes it out on a preschooler? What? She then went on to stab Clementine, Emma, and Xavier. She then went up to Miss Martin and cut her head off and ripped her vaginal tubes open. <laughs> she then put her severed head inside of it. Oh, God. Make it stop. 
<laughs> we were all terrified at this point. The cast left, and most of the crew did too. There are only two other people and me. Caillou's mom went back to the house. Caillou and his dad were in the basement, but Rosie wasn't there. She went into her room to sleep. Caillou's mom went upstairs and saw her daughter sleeping. She then put a pillow over her head and suffocated her. Rosie was dead. <clears throat> it then cut to an intermission that had the puppets from the original seasons, but what we saw them do was really fucked up. Rexy the blue dinosaur was having butt sex with Teddy <laughs> for five whole minutes until Dee Dee the squirrel came up with a chainsaw this is this is eyes entirely black all over again. The screen faded to black with screams of terror and sounds of a chainsaw. It went back to the show. Caillou's mom slaughtered his grandparents and was wearing the face of Caillou's grandma as a mask. I almost shit myself. This is so over the top, it's just funny. The cops abruptly showed up and tried to put Caillou's mom in handcuffs but she stabbed an officer in the throat and began to eat him. Calm down! Calm down! Y you, can get a, you can get a new husband, it's not that hard. Another officer took out a double-barrel shotgun and blew the top of her face off. It then cut to a picture of Caillou's mom's head blown off. Blown of, I'm sorry. It's misspelling. But the bottom half remained there. Her ta Her townge was fla was flapping out of her head and her eyes could be seen in all of the mess it then cut to a fraction of a second of words on the screen we rewound the tv and paused it it said i'm coming for you you crazy bitch okay it then was back to the hospital Caillou was having surgery to remove the tumor from his body. They had to take his right eye out, and then the tumor couldn't be taken out of the body. The medical equipment they used was also dirty, so the eye was infected. It then cut back to the original scene, and Caillou's dad was still saying, I, 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 your fucking eye! His eye was deformed and grotesque beyond belief. He rushed towards Caillou, but the medical staff came to stop him. He was near a window. I can't take it anymore. My family killed my spirit, and now I'm gonna die with it. Caillou wouldn't say that. He's four! He's four years old. He wouldn't talk like that. He jumped out of the window and fell to his death. Caillou then took his last breath and passed away. The DVD ended. We took the DVD and the unwashed one, which said Family Secrets Commentary on- Commentary! I would love, 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 love to hear that commentary if this was real. And threw them in the garbage. We later found out that Daniel murdered his wife, but was never found. Let me clarify that the DVDs are not destroyed, and they are still out there somewhere. If you see any DVD with Family Secrets or Family Secrets commentary on it, DO NOT WATCH THEM! FOR THE LOVE OF GOD, DO NOT WATCH THEM! ALL CAPS! RUN BY ANONYMOUS. CONTENT IS AVAILABLE UNDER CC BY SA. You're getting to be a big boy! Caillou is supposed to be one of the babyest cartoons characters in the world, as my opinion. But now, he is one of the most violent cartoons characters of the world. He became a suicidal person. <clears throat> I was on my computer while listening to My Little Pony, but someone brought me a box. I opened the box, and the box had a disc inside. The cover page was just words. Caillou Season 6 Episode 1, The Thought. I was confused. Caillou hasn't a season 6 because they cancelled it. I was curious to know what the episode could be. I opened the disc and listened to it. There was no theme. It was weird. It started when Caillou was happy like normally. He sings a song. 
but I think that the lyrics were simply stupid. I am very happy. My family is around me, and I love it very much. La 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 la. I will show my ass. Bye bye. You suck. No, mm -mm. I'm I'm not laughing. <clears throat> I'm not laughing at that. No. The song was so stupid. I didn't know why Caillou was acting in an weird way in the episode. I simply continued to watch it. His parents called him, but while waking, he heard his sister's cries. What's wrong, Rosie? Mimi is dead. Who the hell is Mimi? <laughs> it has started to be creepy. Caillou do not insult first of all, and second of all, who's Mimi? Mimi is daddy. Daddy's dead? Yes, Caillou. Daddy has passed away yesterday because of cancer while you were at school. <laughs> I'm so terribly sorry. I forgot one thing about Caillou's dad. His name is not Mimi, but it is Boris. No shit. No! What the hell? Daddy passed away! No, no, no! It is not possible! I can't live without my daddy! Crying. I was sad for Caillou, but it's all started to be creepy after that scene. In the next scene, there was a text. Three months later, we could see a depressed Caillou, and he was fat, and he was crying. Uh, it's... What does that have to do with it? Why is he fat? <laughs> I'm done without my dad. I miss him so much that I want to join him. Anyway, I hate my life. I do have cancer too. I'm bald and nobody likes me as I am. Caillou, don't say that. You are beautiful no matter what you are. Mom, just leave me alone! Exclamation point. I don't want to see you for now, exclamation point. Get out. Okay, I'll just get out. But I love you, Caillou. Talk raspy. Me too, Mom. I was shocked to see that episode. Why would they put violent content on a Caillou episode? It was ridiculous. I'm done with it. I'm going to go. Meow. Shit, shut up, Gilbert, you piece of shit. Hits Gilbert and throws him out the window. <laughs> That's excessive. Row! Scream. It was horrible. The camera zoomed to the dead body of Gilbert, and then it's faded to black. I see Caillou in a cloud, along with a harp music and the voice of the singing angels along with his dad. Then Rosie wakes Caillou to play with him. Caillou idiot! <laughs> uh, I'm having way too much fun reading these. Oh my god, Rosie! Let me sleep, you little bastard! <laughs> Fuck you. Caillou was creepy. I was shocked. He did the finger to his sister, and he was not himself. Like if he wanted to die soon. Caillou was going outside the house without his mother permission at midnight. He had enough of his life and he was going to a tree. <clears throat> Man. I'm done. I will finally be set free of that family. I am dying. Goodbye forever life, Grandma. Rosie and Mommy. His last words were, Goodbye. Then Caillou recorded himself, and the camera zoomed to Caillou, who was choking to death. After he was dead, we could see his dead body. Then it's faded to black again. The next morning, Caillou's mom was trying to find his son when she found out blood's footsteps. What the hell? Why is there blood? She follows it until she find out a tree along with his son's corpse. No! He hung himself. 
<laughs> then the police arrive. They tried to save Caillou, but in no, you can't save him. He he already died. But in vain. We can see Caillou's grave in the next scene, along with his dad's grave. Grandma, Grandpa, Rosie, and Caillou's mom were here to says their last goodbyes to Caillou. Goodbye, Caillou. I will miss you. You were an angel to me. Then I was so scared, but I even continued to watch it. Oh, I'll miss you, grandson. Then we see a flashback of Caillou as a baby. Wait. Then we can see flashback of Caillou has a baby. Okay. When he was born, he was crying. Aw. Let's call him Caillou. Good idea, sweetheart. I was so crying that... <laughs> I was so crying that I couldn't resist. <laughs> It was the end of the episode. I was so shocked and depressed. I was scared of the episode now. I couldn't resist. Caillou was dead now of suicide. No shit! No shit, he's dead now. <laughs> it made me think of a girl who killed herself while recording. I called the police, but they didn't believe me. My mom didn't believe me, too. I called Sprout, but they didn't believe me once again. I called the creator of Caillou about this. She believed me. You couldn't have, like, did a few seconds of research to get her name? Okay. D Dear Marie, I'm very sorry you've seen this episode. That person who sent you the disc was one of the oldest artists of Caillou. But because he killed one of the artists... He got fired and fled before he could get caught by authorities. He became a murderer. And he promised revenge to others. I promise you. Won't see this episode again. Promise. Promise. I've seen this episode too. It made me cry. And made me uncomfortable. <laughs> to talk about it and I was so shocked. And that's the ending that <laughs> That's it. You're getting to be a big boy. Well, what do you know? This one is a sequel to The Thought. All right. Hello there. If you've seen Caillou The Thought, I am the same person who is now 19 years old. Ever since I watched Caillou The Thought, I got scared of everything that reminded me, Caillou. I knew that Caillou was haunting my memories. Now my experience has gotten worse than the other one. I was sleeping until my mom knocked my door. She gave me a box it was familiar. Is it the same box than the other one that I opened? It was a mystery. After I get some rest, I finally wake up and open the box. Then there was a lost DVD again. There was words. A few words. Caillou Season 6 Episode 2 The Success I was traumatized when I first saw the DVD. I almost screamed, but I changed my mind. I was curious, and of course I listened to it. Caillou The Success The theme was creepy. No one's would wanted to watch it, except for me. I loved being curious ever since I was a little girl. There was a dancing Caillou, a sleeping Rosie, and the parents were dancing like a crazy person. Caillou was singing badly. Also, the lyrics were simply stupid once again. <laughs> my name is Caillou. I like to have fun with my friends and my cat. Gilbert is dead. I don't care about Gilbert because he is so ugly. Then my mom, my dad, and my sister, Rosie. La 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 la. Bye bye. Caillou was acting like a baby. It was weird. After the... It was acting like a baby? I, I, how was he acting like a baby in that, in that song? 
After the stupid song, Caillou was crying louder along with his sister and his dad. Where's the success, Daddy? asked Caillou. There is no success until your mom has planned the circus. But your f grandfather has passed away, so we can't go to the circus, unfortunately. What are you talking about? Caillou continued to cry. He couldn't resist the death of his grandfather. Caillou stupid, Rosie says. Oh no, don't you dare be, don't you dare to be mean to me, you stupid sister. Caillou's dad was holding a knife and stabbed Rosie. Caillou was screaming. Caillou's mom was crying. and Caillou's dad was trying to comfort both of them. It's okay, my friends. Rosie has passed away from kids. How is that okay? <laughs> no! You killed her, you stupid, shitty liar! Caillou's mom screamed. Caillou cried in Daddy's arms until he screamed on his, on his right ear. Daddy's ears were both bleeding and Daddy was suffering. He died. <laughs> his dad died because Caillou screamed in his ear. Okay. Why would Caillou want to kill his family? It was the creepiest episode ever. I simply continued to watch it to know the sequel of the lost episode. Caillou removed his eyes and replaced it with black eyes, making her mom screamed of fear. She runned away from her son and cried. Before she could call the police, Caillou stabbed her in the back and she died. <laughs> he singed again, but the lyrics were different on from the other one. I like to lick blood and to have my family die around me. La 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 la. I want to kill them all. Goodbye. After the episode faded to black and faded to his normal screen, I could see a torture room with Caillou in it and Caillou's grandfather in the same room. Ready to die, grandson. No, I'm not ready. Go fuck yourself. Caillou screamed. Yes, you are. Devil waited you for about five, four years. You didn't camed. You didn't camed? <laughs> Grandfather stabbed Caillou 50 times and shot him in the heart. <laughs> it hurt. It hurt. Caillou cried. I couldn't close one eye. I was too scared. You belong to the devil now. What are your last words, grandson? I wish I could show you my ass so I could fucking kill you. The adult killed Caillou by execution. After this, he laughed evilly. I screamed of fear. My mom wasn't there this day, so she couldn't hear me screaming of fear like a five-year-old girl. The screen faded to black. Voices could have been heard. Caillou's ready to kill you. You'll die in four years, Caillou's mom says. The last scene was showing Caillou and his family with black eyes, dark dresses... <laughs> And the faces were deformed with no mouths on their face. The episode ended. I cried. My mom came back with a smile. Why are you crying? The episode you gave to me was creepy as hell, I said to her. I did it in purpose so you could hate Caillou. <laughs> what a genius plan, mom. I cried for e I cried for hours. After this, I got enough of my mom. I wanted her to die, so I killed her. <laughs> if you kill someone, do not show it to the cops. I screamed. This was on Goshia's wiki. Before it became the Lost Episodes wiki. Yeah, that, uh, that, 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 that seems like a story that would, would be on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're getting to be a big boy. I honestly don't blame you if you don't believe what I saw. I myself was in denial of this episode to begin with. Not only did it manage to fuck with me, but is fucked with my sisters. <laughs> 
I'm not. <laughs> My daughter's head. I'm sorry. If you can't already tell, I'm a proud father of two. I have a wonderful daughter, Sarah, and a beautiful son, Tyler. The time we obtained this DVD was before my son was born. My daughter was only two years old. I wanted to do something special for Sarah for her third birthday. My son was born when Sarah was four, for anyone who's curious. I know this is ridiculous, but I bought Pirated Caillou Episode Collection. If you thought that I was a sucker for that, I don't blame you. But I never thought the circumstances would be that severe. We got the DVD in a package that we bought from the pirating website. All that was written on the disc was thank you. It was written very poorly, though. When we got inside, my daughter put the disc in the living room Xbox and watched it. My daughter was giggling happy and dancing around as Caillou was playing with his toys. It made me so relieved that my daughter was satisfied with her birthday present. I was in the kitchen cooking breakfast when I noticed something was off. After 20 minutes, my daughter stopped laughing. I didn't never hear her speak. After I got done making her breakfast, I really started to notice the DVD wasn't even making any sound. It was dead silent. I went back to the living room to find my daughter on the ground crying, and I knew they put some messed up stuff on there. Wrong there. I turned off the TV and comforted her as best as I could. The reason I didn't host a birthday party is because my daughter was sick with the flu. So eventually it was time for Sarah to go to bed, and I'm guessing you know exactly what I was planning. As soon as she fell asleep, I pulled up my laptop and I began to watch the disc. The menu opened up normally like it did when my daughter saw it. Although there, wrong there again, was only one episode and it was called the reason. I already knew they put some effed up crap on there, but I wasn't expecting to see this. The episode starts off with Caillou running around with his toys laughing and giggling. Caillou then tripped and fell. He began to fall down a flight of stairs. When Caillou was at the bottom, he looked like he had broken his leg and fractured his arm. Caillou begins to scream and cry. Oddly, no one says a word. Rosie comes downstairs and sees Caillou crying and shouts, Mommy, Caillou hurt! Help! Doris came to Caillou's aid, but Boris just looked at Caillou with a look of disappointment before looking away. Eventually, the ambulance came and got Caillou. Strangely, the narrator wasn't narrating like it did when my daughter watched it. When Caillou finally got to the hospital with a sling for his arm and cast for his leg, Caillou asked nervously if his parents were coming to see him. The doctor slowly nodded with a hint of sadness and complete sympathy for the poor kid. I mean, Caillou broke two limbs, how could you not feel sympathetic for him? Caillou's parents show up at Caillou's hospital bed with no hint of sorrow, not even cringe for their son's injuries. His parents literally had that face of, look what our biggest mistake did, wow. Caillou says in a weak voice, Mommy, Daddy. Caillou got no response whatsoever. Not even a single glance from his parents. Eventually, they finally broke the silence, but not in a pleasant, loving way. Boris started talking. Caillou, we're not sympathetic for you because you truly were the worst mistake of our lives. Doris began, We were happy until you came along. Ever since then, we've always had to go through constant hell with you. We've always had to take care of you or else we would have lost all respect from our family members. Doris finally said before leaving, We never cared about you. All of the things we said were lies. We never loved you in any way, shape, or form. You were a sick joke and never should have existed. Eventually, Doris and Boris left without looking back. Caillou eventually goes into a coma? After what, what? After what seemed like weeks. Then eventually, as you probably expected, Caillou eventually passed away. After that, the episode ended. I then took the disc and put it back in the case and back into its sealing envelope and shipped it back. Quick update. My kids are teens now. My son is 16 and my daughter is 18. She just finished her senior year. 
I am so proud of her. She's doing fine and surprisingly hasn't suffered any trauma of any sort. Well, that's it. So, Caillou breaks his leg. Then his parents say some things that they would never say to him in the actual show. And then Caillou goes into a coma and dies because he broke his leg? What? <laughs> Whatever, I, I just... Roll the outro. No, d don't even fade. Just cut to it.